Stevie on the eve of another grand final. How are the girls and how are you feeling? Yeah, exciting. Uh, the girls are pretty pumped to make another grand final and even be able to play on Adelaide Oval, so, yeah. Uh, ASLW Awards last night, so close but so far for the girls. <laughs> yeah. How did they take that? Oh, they're obviously um, amazed at actually polling so many votes, but it's even good to see Adelaide Crows even get close to that, um, especially with all the amazing female athletes that are in the comp at the moment. What would it mean to win um, your third premiership, Stevie? I think everything for a lot of the girls. Um, being in it, being able to play in another grand final is is even better. But winning it, it's just the tip of the iceberg of what we're actually been training for since September last year. How's it feel in terms of some of the other premierships going into this one? How's this feel compared to some of the others? To be honest with you, they all they're all completely different. Um, we've all grown as um, individual athletes and. I know I've completely grown since being a little girl in 2017, scrawny, <laughs> didn't really have much um, like muscle or anything and going into it now it's just like you, you think you've got more to, to give and you have a lot of support as well so yeah. How can you best help the young girls that haven't played the grand final before? Just be the leader that they've appointed me to be and that's all I can do and like communicate as much as possible. and allow them to enjoy the ride because it's been a long one and definitely looking forward to it. It's part of um, dealing with the nerves, just watching like a behind the scenes video from your last game. It's like a nightclub in the room. Is that a way to manage all the nerves? Yeah, music brings the best out in everyone and like listening to any tune that actually gets us excited and being around the girls, that's, that's what you, you dream of being around and the team is amazing and the girls just love the, the atmosphere. <laughs> Montana McKinnon will miss out, um, how is she? Yeah. How will the team get around her? Yeah, she's upset, like, like any other girl would be, um, being able to not play in a grand final and what she's been working for. Um, yeah, my heart breaks for her, but she knows that she's going to come to training and, and be there for the girls on Saturday night or Saturday and yeah, just be, put her best foot forward so that we can play the best footy we can do as well. Does that, does that give the girls extra motivation to maybe try and win for her? Or what? Yeah, without a doubt. With any of the girls that don't get to actually play, um, we, we, we put our heart and soul for those girls that are sitting up in the grandstand because you'd want them to play in the team, that's for sure. So how's, how's recovery been? It was such a, a long break in between the last game. Yeah, everyone's pulled up pretty good, um, from what I see anyways. Um, all the girls, are, yeah, recovery is a main thing in, in AFL, or any sport really, and they're doing the best that they can to play on Saturday. There's some suggestion that you might get a bigger crowd on Saturday than they had for showdown. Is that what you're hoping for? Yeah, without a doubt. I think anyone would be hoping for a big crowd. Um, having 53,000 in 2019, that was still gives me goosebumps now, so um, having that amount would be amazing. Just on to Montana again, what has she brought to your side this year and what would you miss about her on the field? Everything. She's grown so much as a person and seeing her develop from when she got drafted, I think it was three years ago now, but she's, her characteristic uh, mindset, just her body language and just her being herself. Um, and playing, playing her role, which is the main thing, and she brings a lot to the team, and yeah, we'll definitely miss her out on the field. She had a really good game on the weekend in particular, a lot of intercept marks. Are you confident you have someone that can step up and cover her absence? Yeah, without a doubt. Our whole team can play in any position, and I'm, well, I'm more than happy for whatever Doc puts out on that team, and I know that we can trust anyone that's playing on Saturday. How and where do you win on the weekend? Play our footy, That's play crow's footy. That's all we can do. What's gross for you? Fun, fast, <laughs> exciting. Um, just yeah, just being being together as one and being able to play. Um, I think that's our crow's footy. How much do you draw on last year's grand final loss as well? Yeah, a lot. We don't really. I don't think any team wants to lose, um, and that's definitely a fire in the belly for us girls to play on Saturday.